Leo, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate for you. If it does, there will be an extended at the end. I'm going to pull some oracle cards, and then I'm going to pull some tarot cards, and we'll hop right into your reading. Also, I recommend you checking out your moon rising or Venus signs just to get a bigger picture of what's going on. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Let's get right into it. Leo. Happy, happy. That's really nice. Milk and honey, your happiness is bringing in lots of rewards. The fates. Something is destined to happen. And what are you not seeing? To be fair, there's a balancing. You are not seeing that there is a balancing happening. Your happiness is bringing in abundance. Whatever is going to happen, it is meant, it's fated. There's a faded situation, we'll get clarification on it. I'll laugh if the Wheel of Fortune comes out. Okay. You are definitely firm who you're supposed to be. The situation is you stepping into your power not um, not settling. The opportunity is taking care of yourself. Being fruitful and taking care of yourself. How you got here is you very much healed. You cleared away past karma. And the universe wants you to know that there is love coming in. Again, that you got here by you fought tooth and nail to get here. In the near future, Gemini, definitely uh, a choice. You're being seen as somebody who really communicates and is able to communicate exactly what it is that they want. And in the near future, it's like you're stagnant. Just for a second though. And the hopes and fears is that you're very clear. You want it to be clear what's going to happen. You hope that whatever happens is very clear. And the outcome is definitely being able to take a leap of faith. What are you not seeing? Three of Cups. King of Cups. Nine of Wands. Six of Swords. And Three of Wands. So Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so first off. I'm seeing only three major arcana. And one of them was in the past. So it was like, you did the work, you cleared out your past karma, and now you're able to step into your happiness. Now because you cleared out your karma, you leveled up your vibration, now you're able to attract in what it is that you want desperately. You took your time. You very much took your time, you did the work, you saw things the way that they were, and you addressed them. You got all three queens, so the only queen that's not here is the Queen of Cups. This is about your heart. You're stepping into your authentic power with your thoughts, your authenticity with your actions, but you're not ex in your authenticity with like your job and intangible items, but you're not quite there with your heart yet. So the opportunity is to blow up the structures. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Tower. You got the Tower. Blow up structures. So like I feel normally these blow ups are pretty negative, but I feel like this blow up is one that's going to be extremely positive for you, and it's going to create. Um, it's going to open up a door for you to be able to walk through that is releasing all of the, the past negativity, the past karma, the past. You paid your debts, and now you're able to reap the rewards. You did the work. You did exactly what you were supposed to be doing. The universe wants you to know that the love that you're looking for, whatever you're wishing for, this is going to transform. You're really worried about this. You're, you're worried that you haven't done the work. You're worried that what you want isn't going to come in. You're worried about 
you know, the what ifs, the unknowns, but the universe is here. It's a faded moment. This is very faded that this is gonna happen. You did the work. I mean, you stepped into your power. You went to battle, you fought the good fight, and now you're able to move on. Psychologically, you got the Eight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. This is about learning how to, to take your time. You got the Lovers, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So Six and Six, this is about making a choice. Making a choice to not rush things when it comes to situations. So you got, you're being seen as the emperor. You're, you've almost balanced out your masculine and your feminine energies. And when you balance yourself out, then you, ban, then you bring in somebody who's balanced as well. You're being, somebody, being seen as somebody who can definitely communicate what it is that they want, where they want to go, how they want to do things. You're very structured, very capable of communicating. Your it's seen not so much your feelings, though. You're able to communicate the external things. You're not able to communicate the internal things yet. So that, that's the detail that's missing. However, you are going to be able to do this in the near future. Absolutely, the temperance. So you got the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the temperance. So this is the last stage for leveling up, is the emotional por portion of it. You took the action in the past and you realized, you know what, this is where I want to go, this is how I want to do it, this is what I want to be. And so you took the action, you, you changed your perception, you changed your thoughts, and you changed your world around you. You changed the people around you. Or you got rid of the people that were not serving you and you put new people in. Now you need to be vulnerable. Now you need to open up and now you need to heal your heart to its fullest. So I feel like in the outcome, you got the Fool, the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing that you're not seeing the balance that's coming in. But I also feel like there's some, you're going to take a leap of faith and you're going to go to somebody that's going to be able to teach you how to be able to, it's like connect with people, how to be able to, when there's potential for a situation to happen, how to nurture those situations. I feel like that's what you're learning. That's what you need to learn now is to, to step into your emotions and your heart and to feel that. You're very stable and you're very able to take your time and to do it, but it's like there's like one last, and that's opening up, being able to be vulnerable to somebody. So this is my reading for you, Leo, and in the extended, I'm gonna go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things that you are not seeing. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and a couple of videos are gonna pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you checking them out, and I will see you over there.